I'm up early, so I'm about to just get up and get ready for the gym now because I can't go back to sleep. So let's go do it, guys. My minerals and my moringa, moringa, how they say it, um, capsules. And I'm crushing my ice because the ice maker still does not work. Um, this is absolutely ridiculous, but it's all good. I know what I got to do next to rectify this situation. So, getting ready to put it in my um, water jug and head out after I take my vitamins. Literally, literally, literally the only person here at the gym in the morning. That's my vehicle. The only person here at the gym. This is what life is about. You got to do things even if you're by yourself. Even if there's nobody else doing it. Now, there might be some people in here. They must have walked because there's not a car or anything out here. <laughs> I see one person in there, but I don't see a vehicle. But, yeah, guys, um, I didn't want to be here this morning. I promise you I didn't want to be here. I did not want to get up and get to this gym. It is 2-something in the morning, and I'm going to do what I need to do to get my mojo back and get me back in line with working out, being that I've been off do i want to be here nope i don't want to be here at all not in a bad way i'm just not in the mood but we have to do things that we don't want to do we want change and get out of our comfort zone it would have been comfortable to stay in the bed and just sleep but i got up early i said why not get up and do what i need to do and get it out the way to try to get three miles in 15 minutes i did two and under eight <sighs> let's see how many i get how many minutes it is when i hit the third mile let's see y'all minutes <sighs> i'm off this thing yes i did it <sighs> three minutes early
guys, so this is my burn. I'm in the massage chair, getting ready to do a massage. And let's see how many minutes it's been. Hold on. 58 minutes. I burned four and some change. And it's 349. Usually I'll be getting here about this time. So I'm going to be taking, getting a massage and then I'll be heading out. So getting ready to watch Broke Girls. All right, y'all. One thing I can say is, man, I don't be wanting to get up. And I have to push myself to get up. Um, like I said, whether nobody's here or not, because this is for me, not for anybody else. And nobody's going to push me as hard as I push myself because I know how bad I want this. But I kind of am happy once I um, get here because I feel a little bit better that I push myself to come. And the more that I keep pushing, the more that I end up wanting to be here versus having to push myself. But I'm not saying it's going to always be like that because you have days that you like don't want to be bothered. But yeah. But I'm going to share that with you guys because it is what it is and I have a lot of weight that I still need to lose and um, this is a journey that I'm sharing with y'all because I'm pretty sure y'all feel the same way. If you don't want to do it, just get up. Just do it, do it, do it, do it, do it. And do it and push yourself to go and get it done. Alright, let me enjoy this little 10 minute massage. All right. So, I had to go to the dentist and um, yeah, I'm getting ready to do some notes and get some things um last minute things put on my little um notes for my uh hold on let me cut this down for my um speaking engagement i have today and um, i'm a little disappointed because i planned on i wanted to start omad again but i have to take um some antibiotics because of a tooth and um yeah I can't take it on an empty stomach and I have to take it three, three to five, three to five times. I, my husband went to go get it from the um, pharmacist, but yeah, I got to take it throughout the day. I think it's every three hours or four hours or something like that. What the heck? I don't even know why my computer is doing that. Yeah, so I definitely can't do OMAD or any fasting now because I have to get these antibiotics in because yeah. Anybody have ever had a tooth issue? I'm going to have to have a root canal. Yeah, so I'm kind of upset about that. And um, not really upset, but yeah, I have to do what's best for me so I can get this infection out of this area. And I wanted to share that because I was going to share um, what I ate um, at OMAD for OMAD. Um, I'm still going to share my, my meal, but I did have, when I came home, some green tea, some cold brew green tea, and um, some mini pretzels and um, hummus with a little bit of that cheddar spread, this cheddar spread stuff I got. So I ate some of that, and I had two slices of bacon so far, and it's like 12 o'clock in the afternoon, so that's all I had today. Um, and I've been drinking water, so I wanted to share that. And whatever I have for dinner or whatever else I eat for the rest of the day, um, I'll share that. So, being that I'm not going to be able to do OMAD during the time. The doctor didn't even tell me how many days I got to take it. I think I've took taken this before, and I think it's like seven days, seven or ten days, something crazy like that. So, I'm just going to share what I'm eating, but I will be going to the gym. I'm just going to be sharing with y'all what I'm eating throughout the day. I'll just do it like that until... I'm done with it and decide um, if I'm going to still go on OMAD or just do a window, a 20, 20 hour fast and then four hours eating or something like that. I don't know. We'll figure it out. So, all right, guys, let me get off here and um, get this stuff on this computer and finish these notes and take a quick nap until I can get up and get ready for my speaking engagement. My sandwich has got turkey, cheese, romaine, and some seasonings, pepper, and Italian Italian dressing, Dijon mustard, and that's basically it. And then I got a bowl of watermelon, so that is going to be my dinner. And as soon as I'm done, I got to start my daughter's hair, so that's basically it. And I'll just be drinking some water. If not water, I think I might get me a ginger ale, but I'm not sure right now because this watermelon is real juicy, so I may not even get another drink. All right, child.